Welcome back for another video on the best YouTube channel ever. Today's video will be about a series of events that transpired not too long ago. Last month on August 12, 2023, 16-year-old Alfonso Ramos is inside the recreation center at Evergreen Park playing basketball when he's confronted by two gang members. Ramos is chased out the building and gunned down in the 2800 block of East 2nd Street. Alfonso Ramos was allegedly an Evergreen 13 gang member or associated with the Evergreen gang. After shooting Ramos, the pair of gang members fled in a gray vehicle while detectives were working to arrest the suspects. A second shooting occurred. Police responded to the scene of a fatal shooting in Boyle Heights on August 17, 2023. Around 10 a.m., LAPD officers responded to the 500 block of Lorena Street for a shooting investigation. Inside an apartment, they found 45-year-old Furman Rulas suffering from multiple gunshot wounds. Furman died at the scene. 45-year-old Furman Rulas is an OG veterano from the White Fence Gang. During the second investigation, LAPD detectives determined that 26-year-old Michael Monterez was allegedly also responsible for the shooting death of Rulas and was arrested shortly after the killing. What's even more shocking but not new is that Monterez's accomplice was a 14-year-old juvenile gang member. Monterez was subsequently charged with two counts of murder while a petition was filed by the LA County District Attorney's Office to also charge the juvenile with murder. The murders were gang related. It is even believed the pair of gang members charged with multiple murders may be responsible with at least six murders. Crime has gone up in LEPD's Holland Beck Division. This division has seen 28 murders this year so far, much higher than last year's 19 murders. Not only that, earlier last month at the beginning of August, an 18-year-old gang member was killed. The victim, an 18-year-old Latino man, was walking through the park at Evergreen Recreational Center before 8 p.m. when he got into an argument and was shot by the suspect. It is rumored that the 18-year-old may be from the Quattro Flats gang, but it's not been confirmed. White Fence and Evergreen are enemies with each other, and both were killed, so that leaves them out the question. And the 18-year-old killed earlier in August was allegedly from Quattro Flats. Monterez and the 14-year-old's gang were not named. Oftentimes, the police will not identify what gangs are involved in crimes that makes the news. The reason being is, naming gangs responsible for crimes is giving that gang street credit. So, here's a list of gangs within the LAPD Hollenbeck Division. Let me know what gang you think Monterez and the 14-year-old were from.